Alright, the banjo is at time to dry, the stain is dried, the stain has dried out, and then we're ready to put the strings on. Just slide the pot into the neck. There's a little cutout here so it fits in. And um, you don't need to glue it or use screws to put it in place. It holds itself in place once you get the strings on. Other tail piece pops on right here. And now we will tie the strings on. They're all labeled over here. And uh, we'll start with number one. Okay, so I start, put the string through the top side, give it a couple inches length out here, then wrap it around three times. Now take your end and put it through right over here. This is just like a slip knot. Pull tight. And that will work. I like to uh, come around and just tie another knot like that, a simple knot. And that's it. String number two. Come in through the top and wrap around one, two, three times. Go back through the little eyelet here and pull tight and then a simple knot alright string number three same thing the string is thicker so I'm only going to wrap it around twice Fourth string. Same thing, I'm only wrap around twice because it's pretty thick. One, two. Through the eyelet, pull tight. Simple knot. Okay, fifth string. We'll do three loops. One, two, three. Pull tight. Go ahead and trim these now. Kit comes with five tuning pegs, and one of them has a hole at the top. And this is the fifth peg. The others all fit down here. These are friction tuning pegs, they're tapered. So the farther up into the hole you push them, the tighter they're going to get. If it gets stuck, don't just keep twisting it because that will snap it in half. You want to push down from the top as you twist and it will release. If they're too tight, you can take them out and rub a little bit of soap on them to lubricate it. And if they get too loose, you can soak it in water for a couple minutes and once it's dried, it should make the fibers expand a little bit and should hold string tension again for you. The headstock is flat with the fingerboard and to get a good tension on 
the string at the nut, it needs to be angled down. So that's why there's holes here going through the peg head. The string feeds through the hole and attaches to the peg underneath. So. Okay, this is the first string through its hole and then through the hole in the peg. I'm going to leave, leave the string loose here so we can turn the peg on a couple times around. go. That string is set up. Second string. You can turn the peg either way you want, doesn't matter. I just like to keep it consistent. If you don't have it wound around the peg enough, it will slip and it will be hard to keep it in tune. So I like to give it three or four windings. I'm going to trim this extra right now. When you're turning the peg, winding the string, you want to keep it about in the center of the peg here. You don't want it to get too close to the headstock because it will start to bind on itself and it will make it a lot harder to turn the peg. Be sure to get the strings lined up first time around so it'll hold its tuning well. Okay, those are all on. Trim the rest of them here. Now the fifth string. Alright, now it's ready to tune up. Alright, for the last step, we'll put the bridge on the string. Um, it should sit about in the center of the pot. 
to explain this double OG here on the neck. This shows fifth, seventh, twelfth fret positions. So if you want to find out exactly where your bridge needs to be to make these accurate, measure from the nut to the twelfth fret notch and double that and that will give you where the bridge should be. I'm just going to take my time tuning this. I'm I'm not tuning it to any certain key, I'm just going to tune it to itself right now. So that sounds good for the uh, low string. Then the next string will be at the fifth fret. Next string up will be at the fourth fret of this one. string is an octave above the low string. And the fifth string is at the fifth fret of this string. forth a couple times because the strings are going to be settling. There you go, it's all tuned up. The strings are on, it's tuned up. You might not be happy with the height the strings are from the fingerboard, so you might want to adjust this yourself. Some people like it lower, some people like it higher. So um, I'll show you how I do it. I want to lower the strain a little bit, so I'm going to loosen it up, move it out of the way. I'm going to take a serrated blade. You can use a steak knife if you don't have a blade, a coping saw blade. But I'm just going to take it down a little bit lower, this notch. You'll find if the string is too high off the fingerboard when you're uh, fretting it, it will play a little bit out of tune. So the lower the better really. Yeah, I like that height better. Alright, let's take a look at the finished product. I think it took the finish very well. I think this uh, whole headstock is pretty neat little setup. Let me play a song for you. <laughs> 